BG Cumbie here. Once again, having to make one of the hardest videos I'm ever going to have to make. I finally uh, come to terms with it, and uh, I think I've found the words to say. Um, I just gotta try to keep it down so my parents don't hear me. Uh, don't want to disappoint dear old daddy, right? His 26 year old jobless YouTuber son is uh, crying again over one of his internet friends. You know, uh, my daddy breaks his back out on the oil rigs for months at a time, and there's not a peep from him. And I'm sitting here sobbing over this. It's pathetic. I'm powerless. I'm powerless. Because yet again, another one of my best friends is gone now. Um, he's really dead. <laughs> just just got to blame it on the pollen. Just, just got to blame it on the pollen, Cumby. I, uh, I just want to take a little time right now to thank God. Uh, thank God for taking another one of my friends from me. And this one really cuts deep because, to be honest, Rusty was one of the last true friends that I had in this world. Three Pog passed away in 2015 due to a freak water polo accident. Uh, he had a, a stroke during practice and they couldn't get him out of the pool in time. And he was under the water and suffered brain damage. And, uh... That was the day, uh, I knew I had to bull up and pack all the muscles, so if something like that happened while I was at a swimming pool, you know, maybe I could get the person out in time. It happened only a week away from my 18th birthday. Three Pac was like the older brother I never had. You know, we were gonna party and make music together. He never, ever failed to make me laugh, but I spent my 18th birthday crying my eyes out over him. And I know he wouldn't want me crying, even now, you know, zero hoots and all that, but I feel his spirit watching over me, and he's disappointed, but I know he understands. And I feel Dylan, Dylan the Hacker's spirit too. He was my bestest friend I ever had. Dylan and I were just two of one soul, you know? We understood each other on this level uh, that I've never felt with anyone. I never had to explain a joke to Dylan. Uh, you know, I, I explained my, explain my jokes and my comedy to my daddy or a federal agent or whoever, and they just hit me with that lead paint stare. <laughs> But Dylan, Dylan understood everything. And I thought I would never find someone like that again until I met Rusty. And I would visit him in Florida and uh, he'd guzzle down a liter of whiskey. <laughs> We'd just be up all night improv together, you know, just the two of us. And, uh... Uh, I'd be Cab Calloway, and he'd be Al Jolson, and, uh, he'd even put on the black face and everything. <laughs> it was just, it was hilarious. <laughs> or, uh, he'd be, uh, Scott Joplin and, and play Maple Leaf Rag for me on the piano, or I'd be like, and, uh, I'd be like this old-timey record producer. Uh, Mr. Joplin, there ain't no way you can play that kind of music for them white folks. They just ain't ready for it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that might not be as, uh, as funny to y'all, but <laughs> you just had to be there, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, he'd fall asleep with his girlfriend in a drunken stupor. 
you know, sometimes I just watch them, uh, just wonder what it'd be like to have a real woman hold me, you know? I, I really looked up to Rusty, and there was like this, this mutual respect towards each other. So we just, we just been through a lot, uh, in our personal lives and together, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything anymore, man. <laughs> I never knew anything. Uh, I was a freaking kid when I started this YouTube thing, you know? I never asked for this. I never said, hey, God, why don't you just come down here and kill off all my best friends for me, you know? One by one, every three or four years or so, just take one of them from us. You know, I'd really love that. It's just, uh... It's just the Cumbie curse. There's, uh... There's this aura about me that negatively affects everything I do. And everyone's lives who, uh... I come into contact with. I pissed God off by whacking it to hentai too many times or something and... Now all my friends have to die for it. I had to spawn into the reality where my friends and I didn't make it. I mean, this truly is the worst timeline. The timeline where my mortal enemy got rich and famous and got a cute gamer girl wife and gets to live in Japan. And, you know, he has a son and everything. He just, he has everything I'll never have that my friends will never get to have now. And I get to sit here alone and cry my eyes out in my parents' attic because my last true friend in this world just died. And Such an idiot. I should have picked up that damn phone. And now he's gone forever, just like Dylan. And it's all my fault. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm sorry, Dylan. I'm just so tired of all of this, of, of my life and YouTube and everything. All my dreams and all my friends taken away from me. And God just keeps humiliating me on the world stage. And taking everything and everyone I know, everything I love from me. I said this before, but, um, I know I'm going to be alone, uh, in that nursing home when I'm, when I'm 87 years old. Kevin Stafford, failed comedian name tag on that door, but I just have to keep going on because I just have to. I can't take a single second of this life for granted when my friends' lives were cut so short, you know? Dylan was only 20 years old, and Threepoc was only 24, and it's just crazy that I'm 26 now. You know, I'm older than them. I finished college for the three of us, and I held it down on YouTube as best I could for the three of us. Whenever I had relations with that paid escort, I made sure that Threepoc and Dylan's spirits I made sure they got a turn so they wouldn't be virgins in the other world. And now, I just got to do the same thing for Ben. I mean, sure, he was, he was like 35 years old, but he was the only 35-year-old teenager I ever met. So, he still kind of was like a younger brother, in a way, uh, like Dylan was to me. I just got to continue living for them. So... Their spirits can dwell inside of me and live vicariously through me. Uh, just like uh, my WoW friends, uh, just like just like I do for them. Uh, one of them's got cancer and the other one's got kidney failure. And, and the third one's got schizophrenia. And my other friends are all dead. And I can just, I can just feel their spirits inside of me. And I can feel Rusty's spirit inside of me right now. And 
He's actually calling me a gay wad, but that's okay. Uh, life just can't always be one big comedy set. God knows I try to make it one. Uh, even now, my last real best friend in this world just died, and I just... I can't stop throwing jokes out there. You know, maybe I'm just hoping for a pity laugh from one of you watching. Sometimes all your friends have to die, and you just gotta deal with it. Uh, next week... Next week I'll be fine. Uh, you know, I'll just be back to shucking and jiving. <laughs> Making a fool of myself like usual. Everything will be fine a week from now. Yeah. I don't know why I'm breaking down so bad like this, making this video. Everything's going to be fine. In just a couple hours, just a couple days. Seriously. <sighs> Everything's going to be just fine. Uh... You know, I'll just, I'll make a video next week and everything will be back to normal. Only difference is, uh, I won't get to see Rusty's reaction this time. Seriously. This time it's just, it's not a joke. This isn't a joke. I just, I'll just have to interpret, uh, what Rusty's spirit is trying to say while he's inside of me. And, uh, I'll just have to determine how he feels from that and honestly isn't that kind of cool you know i'm just like i'm just like some anime character who has all his dead friends ghosts uh just following him around all the time you know giving them sage advice or they're getting in getting in getting me into uh wacky hijinks and classic comedic situations it's like i'm at the ice cream parlor and uh you know, I'm sitting next to my high school bully, and uh, they throw his ice cream cone in his face, and then he thinks that I did it. Nope. That was just the ghosts of my three dead best friends. They were big on the internet in their time. Uh, maybe you've heard of them. Hey, where's the ice cream in this joint? Hey, where's the ice cream in this joint? Sam Hyde on Fish Tank. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? Uh, yeah, that, uh, I guess that is a pretty cool thing to have. I think I'm gonna be okay. Uh, I, I don't think I have any more tears left to shed, to be honest. So, uh, Ben, uh, have a whiskey and coke on me, uh, if you're up there and heaven with Hitler and Jesus and Terry Davis and whoever else is up there in the big man's palace up there in, in the sky. And if you're down below, uh, well, knowing my luck, uh, I might just be joining you down there sometime soon. Goodbye, buddy. I'm really sorry. Thank you.